Hey guys, welcome back. We're at step three now in my step-by-step -step harmonica course. And if you're here, that means you are ready to play your first tune. So I'm gonna teach you She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, which is a great one to start with. And I'm gonna teach you something called the Laughing Clown, which is a great exercise, again, for our pucker technique and getting accuracy down low. In fact, this whole lesson here is gonna really improve your pucker technique some more and get you finding the notes that you want to hit when you wanna hit them. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so thus far, like I just said, we've already learned some stuff that led up to this point. Our diatonic major scale, we've got our single notes happening, and that means we are ready to play a tune, and maybe more than just one. But today I'm gonna to show you one called She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. And before I launch into it, I just wanna remind you, when you are playing tunes like this, keep your pucker on the harmonica. Okay, so when you start the playing the tune, in this case it starts on the sixth blow, and then you launch into it, don't reposition, don't take the harp in and out of your mouth, so remember that. Okay, now the tab for this is on the website, I also have a play along video for this tune too, but I'll play it now for you so you've got a good idea of what it should sound like. Okay, here we go. That's the other thing you see me doing there. Find the right start note. If you start on the wrong note, it'll sound pretty funny. Okay, so six blow. <laughs> I threw in that little bit at the end there just for fun. But you got the idea. You're jumping a little bit on the harp there. You gotta be accurate and hit the right notes and it's great practice. If you can do this tune, then you'll pretty much be able to play any tune that uses that first position diatonic major scale that we learnt in the last step. And you'll be able to improvise too, which is what I teach in the next class. So get into that. It's a really good litmus test for playing tunes on the harmonica. All right. Now, I know some of you are asking, can we bend? Can we bend? Not quite yet. We still have to make sure those low notes are nice and clear. So here's another exercise for that. It's called the Laughing Clown. Again, the tab is on the website, but I'm gonna play it for you and give you an example of what it should sound like. And you can also see now, thanks to video, what I'm doing with my head. And that's why the exercise gets the name The Laughing Clown, because I'm moving my head from side to side like those old sideshow clown amusement park things used to do. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. But here we go. So the reason, uh, Actually, keep on talking. <laughs> the reason that we do that is because our pucker then gets tested further. So we're moving our head, a little bit of a circle there, and if our pucker is good, then it stays in and we get clean notes the whole time. So if you start getting messy notes, it starts coming unstuck, you know you've got to go further over the harmonica with your pucker and get that right. All right, so there you go. That's why we're doing it. Here it is. Okay, those of you that have been playing a lot of harp are gonna know what I'm doing there. I'm starting with a blow on the one hole, and then I'm moving up and back just with my head play six notes up to the four hole and then back down. So then when I get to that two blow, I breathe in on the one hole and do the same pattern. And switch over. And if you can switch over and getting it sound smooth, all the notes are sounding nice and clear, then you are ready to move on and you've done your practice. That's what that means. 
Okay, guys, so keep practicing, keep on harping. Those two things will help a lot, and you'll definitely be ready for the next step when you got them under control. All right, so I'll see you there in the next step. All right, bye for now.